Hi, thank you for coming back. It's Matt here again with mywebbro.com. And today I'm really excited to show you um, the marketplace or platform for e-commerce and a few of the companies that are successful using that platform to generate revenue to sell things for vendors. So I'm actually working on a project right now where we are developing this exact same platform to sell goods and services for local vendors in a community in the Lake Norman area. It's called LKN Connect. But I wanna quickly show you how these three very big companies are generating a lot of money selling things for vendors in their niche markets. Um, so right here, let's go right to the Marketplace or website where I can just give you a little bit of an idea of their branding, what they look like. Matt Gordon over here, they're based in Southern California. Well, they're actually in Australia, but they have an office in Southern California. And Matt Gordon is a really cool guy who I've had the opportunity to sit with and work on um, work on the project that I'm working on now. So, so here you can see that they want to be the place that generates revenue, the place that unifies companies. So an online marketplace strategy, it, it, inv it involves unified, unified commerce, drop shipping for third parties, and, um, and PIM and API um, uh, algorithms. Basically, makes it easy to expand your product listing. It makes it easy to manage your product listing through those automated technologies. Consolidate a market such as the biking industry, such as furniture such as um, home goods right so you can consolidate a market and drive traffic through your website and generate revenue for these vendors um, new revenue and a community so that's the, that's the project I'm working on is the creating a community so that so that you know what I'm not gonna buy this Christmas gift on Amazon I'm not gonna buy this Christmas gift on eBay or on walmart.com I want to buy this Christmas gift from a local vendor and support a local a local business and and that's the project I'm working on but let's take a look at how marketplacer empowers companies to do that thing right so let's take a look at Outdoria so Outdoria is one of the marketplacer clients and they are focused on camping and outdoor type of gear and also accommodation so I'm looking for a campsite or I'm looking for a surf location whatever it is and they're doing a great job. So you can search uh, location, you can search brand or title, but let's just scroll and let's just see the layout. Here's a really cool, the really cool menu up top. Here's their taxonomy, right? So this is how they've got their website organized, camping, fishing, four wheel drive. And so just like the project that I'm working on, there will be categories, right? Let's say I go to camping, I go to tents, then I'm gonna end up in that category where all the tents are going to be displayed. So these are all the different tents that all the different vendors sell on Outdoria.com. Not to be confused with a vendor who sells something on their own website might be RVPartsExpress.com. Well, the trouble that RVPartsExpress.com will experience is that people don't just visit their website every single day all day um, to browse to browse advertisements on hot products. That's what Outdoria is doing. Outdoria is displaying all these different products from all these different vendors, giving a shopper an opportunity to make a selection and then even get to know a vendor that they may not have known existed. So here, let's look at RV Parts Express, right? So this is the vendor page on the Outdoria website on the Marketplace or platform. And right here, we can see all of their adverts for their hot items. So these guys must sell a lot of these items or it wouldn't make sense really to upload them onto the website. All right, and you can see it's just pretty simple stuff. If I'm on the market, let's say I'm in the market for one of these little LED replacement bulbs, right? So I come to Outdoria.com and I buy it. And when I'm buying it, I'm buying it from RV Parts Express. I'm not buying it from Outdoria, right? And then I can make my order, add it to cart, just like normal. We all know how this works. Add it to cart and then check out, right? So, so there you go, and then you check out right there. Let's take a look at another market. Um, so that was Outdooria. Let's take a look at Bike Exchange. They're doing the exact same thing with the bike market. So mountain bikes, road bikes, um, I think all kinds of bikes. And Bike Exchange is actually the first company to utilize the marketplace or platform and be very successful. They're a probably I would say one of the bigger um, um, bicycle. Um, sale retail sales 
and used sales stores in Australia in regards to revenue and advertising power. So if a company has a new product coming out, they may contact Bike Exchange and say, we want our product to be um, featured on your website, right? So something like this. So you can see it's organized by brands, it's organized by categories, and let's just take a look at their taxonomy. There you go. So just like the Out Outdooria website, there's this taxonomy. And let's take a look at BMX bikes. Okay, so here there are three adverts for BMX frames. And SD Wheel Works is selling this one, and Frank's Bikes and La Mirada is selling this one, right? So it's pretty cool. So these vendors are benefiting from the traffic that Bar Bike Exchange brings to this website and generates revenue for this store in San Diego. Very cool concept. And these are all their adverts. So how many adverts does this company have? Let's take a look. Seven pages. It looks like there's about, you know, 15 items per page at seven pages. So they're going to have well over 150 items in stock ready to ship to customers that come to bikeexchange.com and place an order for their product on the Bike Exchange website, which is on the Marketplace platform, okay? So let's take a look at another one. The last one I wanna show you is called Meyer Market, and it's important because Meyer Market is taking this idea to the next level. They're taking out the nichification of the market, right? Biking, camping. Um, and they're saying, let's make a mall type shopping situation for anyone who's looking for home goods or, or um, appliances and that kind of stuff. And then they can buy stuff from us. And the, Meyer Market also does a lot of third party drop shipping. So let's look at their taxonomy. And you can see this is a lot more like a typical store you're used to, a little bit more like a Walmart.com and Amazon.com, something like that, because it's got all these different categories, even books. They even, they're even venturing into that. Uh, seg sector. So let's take a look really quick at electrical. Why not go electrical? Let's go fridges. So I am in Australia. I want a fridge. I come to the Meyer market. And what's cool about Meyer market is I'm going to buy this refrigerator from a company that I may have never heard of before in my life, but that this gives that company the opportunity to sell this product at a better price. Um, uh, or that it, there's a lot of times when a product is, has even become unavailable to a certain um, part of a country, right? It's unavailable. It's out of stock. And I'll go to Meyer Market and I'll be able to buy it, let's say. It's just an example. But if I come here and I see this $1,400 Rhino stainless steel refrigerator, now this refrigerator is being sold on the Meyer Market by a vendor called Bar Fridges Australia on the marketplace or platform. So you see how that works? This is the advert and this is where people go to buy this thing from this company. Now, look, this company very well may have their own website. It's not really a, a conflict of interest if they do have their own website because I am telling you 100%, building your own e-commerce website is not how you sell things. You sell things by generating traffic through an e-commerce platform where people will eventually discover your products, you'll gain trust and then they'll buy from you. So it's pretty cool stuff. Um, let me just take another look at the home, the landing page of Meyer Market because I like what they do. It's Christmas time, so they've got their Christmas um, promotions going, you know, lifestyle, home, kids, pets, toys, and more curated one destination. So their big their pitch is that someone's curating these goods. So somebody liked this thing and posted it on the Meyer Market Mall, essentially. Here's their categories. Here are their trending products. So I keep I keep talking about this with potential clients and telling them trending products will do it will do that itself as we upload things onto the marketplace and people buy it, something will be more popular than something else. So trending products is not something that you set into motion until there's a lot of activity happening on your website, right? These are the featured brands. So a certain vendor sells a certain brand, there will be featured brands. Cool, and then what's new? So I'm the last guy to upload this ice cream cone. It ends up in this section right here, right? This is their blog where they basically, they drive traffic to the store through this blog. And then here's just a little blurb about about why you should sign up, right? Why you should join us. And look, this is exactly like what we're gonna be doing. You wanna create a store account? You can create a store account. Here's how it works, right? Register for consideration. 
right? So this is exactly what's gonna happen with the LKN Connect Marketplace also. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for coming back. It was my pleasure to show you Marketplacer, the platform, Outdoria, the website, bikeexchange.com and Meyer Market. Uh, these are three great examples of companies that are finding success using the Marketplace or platform to sell things in their stores. Cool, thank you so much, have a great day. Uh, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, please. Check me out on Facebook, check me out on LinkedIn. And if you ever have a chance, check out daswow.com. Daswow.com is my um, internet marketing agency where we help small business owners generate leads through the internet. So thanks, have a great day, bye.